Hey guys, this video shows the fight with the 5th Lord, Lord Volron, in the new game Tales of Arise on hard difficulty. Don't forget to subscribe, like and comment on the video if you like the content. I show the gear I use before the boss fight begins. Please equip water resistance and physical resistance trinkets if possible. I was pretty low on consumables till the time I got here. The previous boss took up a lot of it, but I wanted to give this a shot before trying to redo the last one. It seems it wasn't that bad. I will give a few tips on how to handle this boss during the fight. This area is the grandest looking of the lot, and not a single soldier in sight. So probably the place. This is it, everyone. We can't let Voron treat people's lives like toys any longer. We need to put an end to his tyranny here and now. Everyone ready? Ready. We've come this far. Without question. I'm nervous, but I know what needs to be done. We've come for you, Volron! Did you really come all this way, just so I could take you back over his dead body? Bastard! <clears throat> he dismissed them? He must not think he needs them to defeat us. <laughs> Why have you been coming after me? Isn't it your ambition to become the winner of the crown contest? My ambition, you say? <laughs> I have no ambitions. Everything was mine to control. Everything, including your life. I'm happy to see you. This boss has a lot of ability. My main strategy to deal with this boss was to counter his melee attacks, for the most part, and only engage him when I had one or the other ability that would stagger him. These were mainly Alphans or Dohalim's boost ability. Rinwell also caused a stagger if you used her ability on a cast. His melee attacks are very dangerous. If not careful, he can get you to zero in one combo. As I mentioned earlier, I was low on consumables, so I was playing pretty defensively. In phase 2, when the boss loses 2 bars of HP, he also gets the ability to get over limit. Again, avoid him as much as you can and be ready to dodge the water torrents he throws. If you get caught, those stun you as well. As long as you focus on dodging him and landing those counter attacks, you should be good. If you haven't seen this already, to my surprise, he resurrects when you defeat him and you have two more phases to deal with him. I will give a few more tips for those two phases when we get there. Entertain me. I 
Your pills are on fire. Let it take that. Double Z effect. Die. Dragon form. Perfect. Illuminate the In a bind? Take this. Here, let me help. Hey. More with hey. 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 I'm out of ammo. Back in the and the hey. light. Glacial spear. Die. Here, let me help. Take this. Now this is enjoyable. Here, let me the help. flame inside is to be let free. Take this. Burn! Easter! Water! Here are the enemies! Joy order! And three of these! Here are the enemies! Three blazers! Now, are you ready to entertain me? Don't disappoint me by dying just yet. Three. Take this. Try harder! Not a chance to go Die! Try harder! No! Here I go! Here go! Die! Dragon floor! Try harder! Where are you going? Strut! No further! It's all over. Vol run. Now put an end to that death procession you're holding outside. Right now! <laughs> you think this is over? What? Who do you think you are? <laughs> No, that's... How can this be? If Alpin's the Sovereign, how is it possible that Boron has that crest as well? And if Boron's the Sovereign, then what was the point of the crown contest? After everything we've witnessed, it would seem the whole thing is a ruse.
your sovereign. What the hell? Now you face Sovereign Volrod. This guy is a bit more tricky than the last one. He also has a lot of spells up his sleeve. These include shockwaves that originate around him as well as from his sword. He also has a dark spell ability which launches dark bombs on you. The frozen ability still remain and if you get caught, you get stunned. My strategy remains the same for the most part. Focus on dodging and landing those counter attacks and go all in when you stagger or break him through boost abilities. He will keep teleporting to the center and would rush towards you with an attack. He would reach phase 2 when you lower him to 2 bars of HP. No further! The this flame inside mine. me, yours uh. will be let free! Shining Lunar Corruption! Burn! Ha. Inferno! Here, let me help! Fire! 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 Fire!
This is the final phase of this boss. He would cast an ability called Finis Aetonum when he reaches this phase which seems to be his ultimate. This will be a boulder of ice that lands in the middle and sends out spikes outwards. To dodge them, stay at the outer circle and you should be okay. In this phase, he also casts an ice ability where the floor will completely go white. This is your cue to be ready to dodge that or stagger him so that the ability is delayed. Always stay on the defensive and counter attack him on open opportunities and you should be good throughout this fight. Could this be the true power? Sovereign? What is this?
Is it over? Yeah. I think so. Hope you liked the strategy and the video. Please subscribe, like, and comment on the video if you liked the content. I will cover the other boss fights as well as some interesting quests which I complete as I play the game. Thanks for watching.